it's a great pleasure to be here in Frankfurt. And what a great opening remarks was this morning with Angela Merkel. It was fantastic. And, uh, you know, I would say everybody, including her, is talking about uh, digital transformation being faster than ever. Sort of my journey in Germany began with Axel Springer, Matthias Daphner, and you know the media industry was one of the first industries that was totally disrupted by Google and Facebook, specifically in advertising space. And uh, quite coincidentally, I was like in the center of uh, all these changes in Silicon Valley in Palo Alto. And, you know, this is a little building we purchased. Nowadays we call it Lucky Building. Marissa Meyer right now is on the second floor trying a new startup on her own. But I just happened to be on University Avenue when my friend Pere Luigi Zappacasta brought Logitech from Geneva, Switzerland to Palo Alto, raised money, and then took it public. And uh, again, I d you must know PayPal, Peter Till knocked on our door, and when they were three people, they joined us in this building. And sort of, you could say, I became an investor by accident. I was pretty much uh, mining my own business in real estate, bottled water industry, and packaging industry. But when you're in uh, Silicon Valley and you see all of these great entrepreneurs, I don't know how many of you recognize Danger, but in my opinion, it was the first smartphone called Sidekick that used to flip open and you could browse the web. And, you know, I felt quite privileged having the front seat to these great companies being born. And quite frankly, I said, I have to be part of the game. So I started investing in startups, uh, initially in Silicon Valley, but you might recognize N26, so when I met Valentino and Maximilian, they were two people with a dream. Quite frankly, we gave them 25,000 euro for 5% equity. Then we helped them raise one and a half million from early bird. Then uh, when Peter Thiel, the same Peter Thiel as PayPal came to Berlin, we introduced them to N26, and he put in 10 million at 50 million valuation. And when Allianz put in 100 million at 500 million valuation, I thought, my God, 5,000 X is, I mean, 1,000 X is good enough. So I sold some of my shares, but I'm quite sorry now. Now it's worth three and a half billion. But the point I'm saying, if you see Soundtown, Voodoo, which we sold to Walmart, it is great to be part of this entrepreneur's journey. And as plug and play, we try to make a positive impact in their journey. And we have had our share of unicorn. You know, Rappi just became worth $3 billion in Colombia is like a food delivery company. And every one of these startups have a challenge of building a product that meets the market need and then trying to scale. I would say in Germany, the biggest challenge is not the seed round or the A round, but is the additional funding that could take the company global. And if uh, you see, we are in the auto show here, IAA, 
Uber has become the biggest transportation company and totally disrupted the whole industry. We feel electrification and autonomous car and is going to be like a revolution similar to our mobile phone. And we just want to be like in the front of the curve to as uh, you know, the industry changes, we feel the path to purchase of the car is going to change. Quite frankly, the new generation, when I was 16, my biggest dream was to buy my first car. Now, the 16 and 18 year olds don't think that is necessary. They just want to get from point A to point B in the most cool fashion there is. We have been trying to uh, get ahead of each industry and to see where the digital transformation is taking place. You know, for example, in insurance industry, we work with Munich Re, Allianz, uh, and 82 other insurance companies, and introducing them to startups we love startups that uh, disrupt the old industry, but at the same time, we love the B2B businesses that help each industry transform. Like for brand and retail, our Munich office works with Media Saturn, Little, uh, Visa, Wirecard, and we feel each one of these industries, if you take a good look at it, because of software, because of AI, is going through a fastest transformation that anybody has seen. And uh, like uh, Thomas mentioned, most of these technologies are being disrupted in Silicon Valley or they need to be connected to Silicon Valley. So if you're a startup, I recommend that you should come to California at least four times a year. It is impossible to hire and retain talent in California. So we call it, you should do it like the Israeli model. Have core team in uh, Silicon Valley but keep your engineering team, production team, and majority of the people in Tel Aviv, or quite frankly, in Berlin. But you need to be connected to Silicon Valley to see where the industries is going. And then we kind of went a little bit overboard and opened a lot of offices around the world. In California, we help 1,000 startups per year. So let's say if you take our fintech industry, we do two batches of 25 each. If you take our insurance vertical, we do around 35 startups per batch. And we like to do the same in Europe, in Germany. Right now in Germany, in Stuttgart, we help about 60 startups per year. And in Munich, we do around 60 as well. And very soon, I think it's uh, October 1st, we will open up Hamburg. And about a year ago, we opened Frankfurt in the fintech industry. This is uh, like a little sample of what brought me to Germany, my first joint venture with Axel Springer. We did 100 plus investment. We think that kind of little bit helps to build the ecosystem in Berlin. And then uh, with Stuttgart, with the help of Mercedes first, but right now we have more than 25 corporate partner on what we call startup uh, Autobahn, open innovation, and we do over 100 pilots per year. And the idea is there is a lot of cool technology at uh, different universities. University of Stuttgart, 
Yesterday I met Aachen University, but to take technology to and apply it to solve a solution and build a company around it, I don't think it's easy. And that's where we specialize. And uh, Stuttgart has been doing great for us. We were able to build the biggest and the best mobility innovation platform in the world. Then Nissan Peugeot asked us, can you please do the same in Japan and Paris? And then quite frankly, I don't know if you have walked the show, we have the same innovation platform in Beijing and Shanghai. And I would say through electrification, through autonomous car, China will leapfrog for sure US, but possibly Japan and Germany as well. I think the cars they make and how fast they make it is incredible. We uh, help large cooperation digitally transform. We help, like in the case of Dr. Seche, Ola, Wolf Port, we feel the culture of taking innovation from outside and bring it into Daimler is really important. And if you don't have that mindset, even you cannot take advantage of the technologies from startups. And it, nobody can tackle this autonomous uh, movement by themselves. You need collaboration. As far as being a venture capitalist, we were named uh, by numbers, not by dollars, the biggest investor in Silicon Valley in 2018. We did 222 investments, and then we invest a little money, and then we pray a lot. So the value goes up, like N26. But this is actually the N26 example. We feel it's still the tip of the iceberg. And uh, what we do is, uh, really to be able to make an impact, not only for Allianz, but also for the entrepreneurs that have done this mobile banking. And, you know, in Germany, we are very proud to say is our objective to do 30 investments per year. And we, part of our due diligence we outsource to our corporate partners. Let's say if Porsche, Volkswagen, or Mercedes doesn't like this cybersecurity technology called Guard Knox out of Israel, then we will not invest. But if they are doing a pilot, they are happy with the pilot, uh, we then choose to invest in the startup and make them grow. You, have, you see Adidas there. It's quite interesting. The project we are doing in Adidas is mostly on the health of the athletes. They would like to be able to have the athletes live a happier and healthier life, and we are doing a big project with them. This is a little short video of our activity in Stuttgart that startup Raymond Autobahn. helped us set it up. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Startup Autobahn. <laughs> Please welcome your host here on stage, the chairman of the board of Daimler AG, Dr. Dieter Zetsche. Uh, Stuttgart is the perfect match, bringing together OEMs in the car industry, uh, suppliers and universities and schools. Never stop challenging. I think that's a good motto for a day like this with Startup Autobahn. So what do we want to do? We want to bundle strengths to reach out and hopefully gain access to the best technologies around the world that we will put into our products and services. Startup Autobahn is not like any other program. They don't just want to show you off and they don't want to just say we're working with these exciting startups.
they actually want to build something. This is an opportunity to genuinely reach the decision makers. So basically my advice for a startup is do it, be in the program. It's a very established platform um, with a lot of experience, especially from, from plug and play. We at Porsche are very proud to be partner from Startup Autobahn and we get new expertise to challenge it with um, our project ideas and uh, therefore we, we get a, a new spirit for our work. At Porsche we really love competition, so we think the more partners we have on board, the better it is for the program. So please join Startup Autobahn, we love to have you on board. An open platform means having more corporates on board, which means having a more attractive program for the startups. And this is what we want, attracting the best startups worldwide to join Startup Autobahn. We have had more than 60 pilots in the last 100 days, and quite frankly that does not happen. I would say anywhere else in the world. Wonderful, so please uh, join us in this journey to helping entrepreneurs to execute their ideas and technology to make a better world. Thank you.